Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you how to scroll specific panel content. And by that, what I mean is if you see this example I have on my screen right now, if you remember, I used this mockup in my previous session, I think it was on custom radio button and custom input types. Uh, but today I want to include maybe a separate step within this flow and kind of scroll this content, which at the moment, as you can see, is a fixed height uh, panel. But what I wanted to do is basically for user to just be able to swipe up and down if they actually want to check uh, TNC information or any other information. And this is useful because sometimes you have panels which are restricted in height and you just want to, you know, include more content. So let's dive right into it. I'm just gonna go right ahead and set this static mockup up in my Axure. As you can see right ahead, I copied all the items in. I have my panels. Uh, all of them are grouped, so I'm gonna quickly ungroup it uh, because by default it does it. And what I want to do really to create this panel scrollable, I could either use an iframe uh, from our, our previous session where basically I can you know, embed some other page of the text. So that's one of the options which I can show you right away. So let's say if I would create a new page and say this is our T and C text, I can kind of nest it underneath just visually to show myself of where it belongs to. I can just cut the text away and replace this box with an inline frame like so. And just embed TNC text here and edit that page and just paste it, let's say zero by zero and maybe just adding a little bit more text so it looks a bit more natural, maybe adding some paragraphs like so. And if I preview, let's say our previous page, now it should look much more real. So here you go. Now we have this scrollable type of box. And if you apply the styling to this box, let's say hiding borders, uh, hiding scroll bars, then you're gonna get something what we're looking for. But as you can see, if you hide the scroll bars, then you can't really scroll up and down. So that's kind of like the issue and a trade-off using the iframe box. We can either use that or do something more advanced and I'm gonna show you how to do a bit more advanced stuff. So I'm gonna delete the iframe right off the bat and what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna create a dynamic panel. So I'm gonna create a dynamic panel by clicking right click on that box and just inside it in the state one, I'm gonna add that content we had before and maybe even expand it a bit more. And so, as you can see, there's a lot of content. And if we just close the dynamic panel, it's all gonna be kind of expansive and it's gonna break the page. So I'm gonna select it. And you can either unselect the fit to content before you actually do it, or you can just resize. And what we wanna do is really resize it like so to fit that fixed height we had before and let's preview. Now, as you can see, all that content appears in fixed height, but it's not scrollable. So that's what we're gonna do next. Instead of using iframe, we're gonna add some logic and conditional statements to make it, you know, advanced. So I'm gonna go inside, and what I'm gonna do is convert it to another dynamic panel. And now it doesn't really matter the size, let's say height-wise, so we don't have to resize to fit, let's just make it like fully like so. And what I'm gonna do is just give it like a name. So let's say content. And if I click away, so imagine this dynamic panel we created before is like a container. Inside it, we have another dynamic panel which just holds our content together. And what we wanna do now is say to Axure that if let's say I scroll or touch this container, just move what's inside you. So how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna add new interaction and say on drag, which is basically what happens if the user drags it up and down, which we want to on mobile anyways, do something. And what we wanna do is basically move what's inside it, which we named content with drag. And we want Y with drag Y 
on Y axis so it doesn't just move you know up and down or it just disappears and then we also would be able to add some boundaries if we want to but you know for this demo let's just do it like a up and down quite easy and simplistic as you can see it allows us to just scroll it up and down now since we didn't add any boundaries so what we want to do is really ba go back to that action we can add animation options if you wish so let's say a delay or ease in or you know make it snappy and add some bounce effect it's really up to you so please experiment to do so but what we want to do is really just add the boundaries and we can say let's say if the top the bounce of top is less than and click on function button right here and let's say five pixels so it's gonna add some of that breathing space then we say that everything else can go up and down and just to show exactly what I mean if we preview it as you can see I can't drag it down because it's restricts it by five pixels here but I can go all the way down as much as I can but then if I want to go up, it stops at that boundary at the start of a content. So that's the less than from the top, let's say five pixels. Now, if I want to add another boundary, I can just do so by clicking add a, another boundary and just say from the bottom, make it greater than, let's say 270 or so. And that's basically the height of this panel, as you can see. And what we're basically saying by that is we, if we preview, it's gonna allow the users to go down until we reach that bottom of the content. And then we're gonna also allow them to go up until we reach the start of the content, but nothing else, which makes sense, doesn't it? Um, you could also argue, what if it's desktop? What if we want to scroll with, uh, you know, a mouse scroll button rather than dragging up and down? What do we do then? Well, the answer is quite simple. As you can see, the dynamic panel by automatically has a no scroll option. Um, we can just say scroll is needed, let's say. And then it's gonna add the scroll bars. And that's kind of like a limitation so far of Axure that if you want to make it scrollable on desktop, you kind of have to add scroll bars like so, let's say vertical. And now we can kind of scroll up and down and, and do so using the same exact dragging functionality we just added. So it would work for both mobile and desktop. As you can see, I can just drag it or I can scroll it. It's going to work the same way. Now, some of you might wonder, like, how do you hide that scroll bar manually? You know, because let's say if the software cannot do it, um, how do you do so? What I find easiest is it just dragging it out away, let's say, from your panel like so, and then just physically hiding it with something. Um, as long as it's obvious to the user that they can actually scroll or drag it, it's okay. So let's say if I drag it out like so, as you can see, it misplaces the, the scroll bar option, the visibility of it, like so. And I can just add a block on top and it's kind of like a really easy hack, but it's, it's, you know, it's effective to hiding it. So let's say if I do so, all I need to do is just hide the border of the shape and select the fill color, which is identical to a background. As you can see, you can't really see it on the prototype source and the users are not going to be able to tell on the preview either. And then we can either use mouse, mouse, just like I'm using right now, or we can drag it up and down. It's the same exact behavior. So that's how you do it. There is multiple ways to do so. You can either use iframe, you can either use dynamic panels like I did here. And, and then you also can add scroll bar options. Either leave it as is, if that's okay with you and your design decisions, or just hide it and mask it with, you know, a manual layer on top of the shape. So I hope this video was useful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be adding more videos like these and probably more advanced as we go. So stay tuned for that and see you next time.